said there's a man that you need to meet. I will say no more. In fact, when I was still with the line of Abuja, Nigerian town planners were caught. It's difficult to operate for long. Uh, collect the glory because they will say work environment. Then I look at the efforts, but you have everything off bar and all those things. I think that's part of things that are changing and the need for collaboration to post colonial uh, law. But I can tell you confidently that allowed me was the cost of the project in Lagos. So I knew I was in trouble if I was going to do that work. So minister, that's the man that approved the contract though. But the amount they pay is not good. So the question is, what? some some slides here. Uh, I learned about a facilitated in a Jordan new town. So I went to Google. Court. It's difficult to operate for long. Uh, the medical doctors are concerned with that. Today. But what do we do today? You have a drone. Accuracy. So, and then there's a poor work environment. Because people are already thinking that GIS is replacing that GIS is the geographic information uh, system. It's not replacing uh, planning. No, it's not replacing planning. Planning is planning is something that comes from the knowledge of great thinkers, from the philosophy and visions of great thinkers of how a city should look. You had the guest speaker telling you, you understand that if you take Lagos State for example, Lagos State is the smallest state in terms of land size in Nigeria, but it has the largest population. And he said Lagos has been divided into 40 districts. And if you take ShopRite being in one district, you expect that there is ShopRite or similar facilities in every single of the 40 districts that you have in Lagos. That is the power of planning. So that, as he said, going to Lekki from uh, Alimosho will not become some sort of uh, tourism. Because now people now travel from Alimosho and then they want to go and offer a lot of shop right. You know, already you can see that happening in the banner as well. This lecture of today is reminding us that planning is a powerful tool and a guide for the development of any nation. For there to be development, there must be a handshake between the government and the town planner. The government must understand what the town planner is talking about. Because if they don't understand, they will not be able to implement it. And the beauty of any plan is its implementation, not its being kept on the shelf. That is why government must understand planning. All over the world, it is government that ensures development. And that is what this paper is advocating. If you talk of uh, housing deficit, we see that um, it, it, it's all uh, brought down to issue of uh, not having proper and adequate planning. In some areas, some school of thought will argue that, uh, quite frankly, we don't have uh, housing deficits because you can see scattered everywhere newly built houses that are not being occupied. But on the other side, again, you have a very acute shortage where people are in their need of uh, housing. So it's all about planning. If uh, planning is taken seriously, all these issues uh, definitely will be addressed. And I think, uh, most importantly, that is one of the reasons why we are here today, to get to know more understanding of uh, town planning and for us to go back and apply them in our various uh, organizations in terms of policy formulation and implementation.